Hi there, hi, good afternoon. It's Liz Davis. I am a nutritionist and gut health specialist. I help busy women with their gut symptoms, so their IBS and bloating, painful digestion, etc., which can really get in the way of um, people living their best lives and um, really interfere with things to quite an extent. I use gut testing and uh, diet changes and herbs and natural um, lifestyle techniques, etc., to get things ticking over nicely. And today I was going to talk to you about carbohydrates or carbs, um, as they're highly controversial these days. And some people say you should eat lots of them. Some people say you should avoid them altogether. So what on earth are you supposed to do? Um, so I'll give you a quick rundown. I'll go into what carbs actually do, why we need to eat them. Um, and which ones to focus on, which to avoid, um, which um, conditions you can maybe look at dropping your carb intake a bit for, um, etc, etc. So what are carbs for a start? Why do we need to eat them? Well, basically, they're our body's preferred um, method of obtaining energy. Um, they, our bodies really like to get our energy from carbohydrates. It's a lot easier for our bodies to um, extract energy from these, from these foods. And there are three broad categories of um, carbohydrates. So firstly, there's sugars, or you may have heard these referred to as simple carbs. So these are any added sugars, fruit juices, sugary drinks, um, packets of white and brown sugar. Um, all these are simple sugars, simple carbs, um, and they form a category of sugars in the carbohydrate um, under the carbohydrate umbrella. Next we have starches. These are long chains of sugars as well. So these are broken down by the body um, much more slowly than if you have simple sugars. So they um, are a lot less stressful for our bodies to deal with and um, they form a substantial part of most people's diets. Um, so if you eat these starches, you want to be looking at the whole versions, not the refined versions. Okay, um, so the whole versions are going to have more um, nutrients in, um, it's going to take your body a lot longer to break them down, and they contain the next category of carbohydrate, which is fibre. Um, and although we don't actually get any energy from fiber, we need fiber for our digestion and we need it for so many things that it would be impossible to go into them all now. Um, but notably, we need them to feed our good bacteria, keep our good bacteria healthy and abundant and our good bacteria will make good um, an energy source from them as well to help keep our gut cells very healthy. So very important to eat, eat foods which contain plenty of fiber. Um, okay, so whole grains, yes, they contain loads of nutrients. They're released slowly and steadily. Um, so definitely a very um, important part of our diet. So lots of studies have shown that there is an association with eating refined carbs, so carbs which have had all of the brown bits taken out of them, etc. So these refined carbs have been linked to health problems like type 2 diabetes, weight gain, etc. They cause big spikes in your blood sugar levels, that's what the problem is. So you enter into this spike, blood sugar spiking and then dropping when your blood sugar drops off is when you get these horrible symptoms. You'll be craving more carbs to get more sugar into your bloodstream quickly. You might then at that point be getting a lot of anxiety, um, depression, bad moods, crankiness, etc. Being hangry is a big symptom of that. Um, so those kinds of carbs are definitely best avoided. Um, which carbs should you eat? So you want to be focusing on your whole grains. Um, for most people, they're okay. Um, so certainly foods like all the vegetables, all the fruits in their whole state. Um, tubers, so potatoes, sweet potatoes, etc. And um, 
Oh, what else is there? Oh, yes. Um, so grains, are, again, these are a big problem for some people. So that's another huge subject. Most people can eat grains okay. Some people can eat some grains and not others. Whichever way you look at it, always focus on the whole grain version. So brown rice, um, spelt, etc., would be good ones. Um, they're very, very high in nutrients, very, very high in fiber. Um, as I say, they don't suit everyone in certain conditions. So that's another um, subject to look at, but I won't go into that now. And then, of course, when you've considered all that, there's the famous low carb diets. Um, so the low carb diet is restricting the carbs very drastically. Um, they are very beneficial for certain conditions, certain health conditions improve very drastically on a low uh, carb or a ketogenic diet. And a lot of people find this very beneficial for so many things, um, obesity, type 2 diabetes, etc. And they are much, much better for weight loss than the low sugar diet um, or low fat diet rather which was kind of touted for a long time to be the gold standard for weight loss actually the low carb diet has proven much more effective um, again anything like this will suit some people some people will feel dreadful cutting their carbs too low it really depends on the individual but if you are planning on lose, using a low carb or ketogenic diet to address your health issues then very important to do it um, under supervision from a professional to make sure you're doing it safely <clears throat> and you're getting all the nutrients that you need. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. So yeah, general guidelines then, you're looking at all the vegetables you want to eat, um, whole fruits, definitely, potatoes, sweet potatoes and whole grains, avoid sugary drinks, added sugars, definitely, um, fruit juice, white bread, white pasta, white anything, um, crisps, pastry, uh, biscuits, those kind of carbs won't make you feel so great and um, they're probably best avoided in the, in the main for most people. Um, some people can f consume them fine in moderation, some people can't eat them at all. It, again, it really depends. It's definitely not one size fits all. It will depend on your age, your gender, your general metabolic health and your levels of physical activity. OK, so that's the lowdown on carbs. It's not quite so cut and dried, I'm afraid. It really depends on the individual, as I say. But I hope that gives you a useful overview. And if you would like to speak to me, I shall pop a link to my diary in the comments. So do use that if you would like to book a call and um, let me help you with your gut issues you're facing. Okay, I'll see you next time. Bye.